Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Trevor with SkySiv. In this video, we will be introducing the brand new SkySiv Beam and go over the major additions that were made. While the prior version of SkySiv Beam was one of our most popular modules, we believe there was definitely some room for improvement uh, in all aspects. With that, let's jump right in. So right away, we can see that this is a newer, uh, much cleaner user interface that takes advantage of the entire screen for the model space, which is gonna help with easier readability uh, of the loads, data, results, etc. Similar to before, users are going to be able to take advantage of these large input buttons on the left side of the screen to create their beam, as well as an elements list, which will list all the uh, elements in your beam. So the beam supports, loads, um, all that type of stuff. So here we have a beam already set up so we can take a look at some of the additions. Uh, the main loading feature that we've added are load cases and combinations. Um, so this is going to allow you to analyze unfactored and factored loads, whereas previously it was all just one um, load combination. So for example, if we click into one of the loads here, like point loads, we can identify this as whichever load case uh, we want. So for example, if we just put in a load just like previously, put in the position, the magnitude, now we can actually identify what type of load case we want. So we'll do live, add that, and now we have our live load here. So to further exemplify this, we have uh, our beam as before with a few different loads here and some various load cases. So the point loads here are live, the uh, distributed load here is a uh, wind load or yeah, a wind load. And then the moment is also a live load. So we have a variety of different loads here. We can also turn on the self weight just as before, but now with a new beam tool, we can generate the load combinations by using the correct button down here and either adding them manually or just like in structure 3d importing them from the design code. So we'll select LRFD from the ASCE database here. We'll display those codes. All the load cases are actually assigned already. And then now we can just toggle which load cases we want in our uh, analysis. So we'll just import those. Now we can see that we, it's also duplicated on um, the load combinations for the roof, roof, rain, and snow load. And what we can do is we can delete the duplicates since we don't have any of those loads. Um, so I'll do that and we'll come back in a second. Okay, we have our loads now, we can hit save. And now we're ready for analysis. So lastly, before we run the analysis on our beam, another major modeling change is the ability to click and drag elements along the model space. So for example, if we dra uh, grab and drag one of our point loads here, we can move it back and forth and it'll stick to the spot that we um, click it onto, uh, depending on the grid spacing. Uh, I can do that. You can do this with supports. You can grab and, and drag uh, loads. Really any of the elements that have shown up on this side over here, you can manipulate just with dragging, uh, clicking and dragging them along uh, the the grid space here. And if you make a change, as you can see, if we drag this over here, the tick at the bottom identifying where that is occurring will update as well. So move this back and we'll get ready for analysis. If at the end of the modeling stage, you wish you had built this in Structure 3D because it's part of a bigger structure, say a frame or something, you can actually bring your entire beam with all of its loads and all the data that you've put into it already, including the section data, and bring it into S3D using this open an S3D button. But with that in mind, let's run the analysis. So now once we've run the analysis results, we can see the brand new UI for uh, the results. Similar to the prior version, we have the reactions, the member forces and stresses and stuff like that. But now we have the ability to view the summary of the results on the right-hand side as well. Um, because we have the ability to run load combinations now, you can actually toggle between uh, the results for individual load combinations, uh, individual load cases, as well as the envelope results. So if we change that here, we'll see the reflections made on this side. So we can see that if we change the load combination to this load combination, we're seeing the, the factored um, loads at this point, and as well as the factored reactions and all the factored results. So back over here, we can see that um, not only do we you know, get the tabled version of the force extremes, reactions, and stress extremes. We also get a summary um, of the deflection results, member stress results, and material yield and material strength results. So these are all defined by the settings, as well as the material that is identified um, in your section. So for example, in this in this example, we have a material yield of 50 KSI and material strength of 50, 65 KSI. That's just depending on the material. But then there's also a user set deflection limit, as well as a member stress limit. So we can see just quickly, it's it's passing these three, but it's failing my set limit of L over 250. And you can go back into the settings and change that and just make it work for your project. So with the goal of integrating as many aspects of the SkySiv platform as possible with the 3.0 version of SkySiv Beam, uh, you can now actually design and optimize 
steel beams without ever even needing to leave the beam module. So if you're familiar with a member design module where this is uh, would usually occur, um, the inputs are a lot similar. They're basically identical. And if we run, an, run a result here, remember we were using LRFD, so we're going to make sure we're using that code. If we submit design, we can see that the display of the results is basically mimicking the member design module. So now we can actually run um, a code check for a steel member. Uh, in this case, our W, you know, I think it's a W10, whatever shape. And then we can obtain the detailed hand calculation report as well. So here's that report that we can export, just like in the member design uh, module as well. So while we went over the main changes of the brand new SkySiv Beam module, there are definitely a ton more uh, to explore and take advantage of. So log into your SkySiv account and give it a try for yourself. And with that, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content, as well as follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook. We hope to see you on SkySiv soon.